Okay, this is my insect build. I'm first video on you first video, so sorry. Alright, here are the normal monsters. This is your basic insect. Pretty nice little 5-7 just for, for filler. Killer needle, 4 star, 12, 10. Wind insect, just again filler. Uh, grr, something I cannot pronounce. Little 17, 10 beat stick. Neobug, 4 star, 18, 17. Pretty well rounded. Again, beat stick. Uh, insect knight, 4 star, 19, 15. Pretty much my big hitter, mostly. Now for effect monsters. Swarm scarabs. Nasty little card. You flip it down, flip it back up. Bam, new mo another monster destroyed. Flip it down again. Next, turn the same main, main phase two, or main, just same main phase. And that's the end of it. Swarm of Locusts. Reverse attack and defense. Pretty decent, except for spell and trap cards. Two Needleworms. Just for general, yeah, I'm going to make you ditch the top five. Your deck, uh, just pretty much anything but Light Sworn. Really doesn't benefit from it. Two Eight Clawed Scorpions. They come in handy when you're trying to break those nasty little face-down walls you don't want to deal with. They get 24 during the damage step, and, um, basically that's about it. Two good old man-eater bugs. One's shiny. Otherwise, same deal. They're in there for filler, and what good deck doesn't have a man-eater bug in it? Um, Aztecpedia, the Worm Warrior. Remove a card, he comes out. Every time I inflict battle damage, inflict, it's ditch the top card. 19-4, not bad. Saber Beetle. Basically in there just for a good trample, decent one sack. Worst case, ditch him for another card. The next card in the deck. Two Doomdozers. Remove two insects from your graveyard from play. You get a nasty little 28-26 beater. And he can re... And again, send the top card of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. Jiragumo. I'm thinking of putting in a skill drain strategy, but for now he's there for other cards. Mainly just get to the graveyard for Doomdozer or Aztecpedia or a few other cards. <sighs> Giga Plant. Now you're probably wondering why is this in here? It should only work for plants, right? No, it works for insects as well. So, two sack. One sack, the Gemini, and I figured I'd give it a shot. And last, but certainly not least from Monsters, the Wicked Dreadroot. He is in there for all out, just beat down. His 4,000, 4,000, cannot be special, requires three tributes. Have the attack and defense of all monsters except this card. Needless to say, why? Now we're going to go to my spell cards. Genocide, or after the battle, whatever you want to call it. It is in there just for mainly, um, if I want to get my insects in the graveyard, but I also want to take either my opponent's monsters out in the process, it works. Hinotama, 500 burn, just a little filler. Um, Fires of Doomsday, basically there for just a mild burn, uh, just to bring out for my a dread root, but otherwise, Mick gives me something, maybe. Mystic Space, for apparent reasons. Book of Moon, again, for apparent. Stop Defense. Um, again, most of the cards are filler because I really don't have many insect cards. Mystic Walk, as I mentioned earlier, for Jerry Gumo. Worst case, it's about to be destroyed. I get 2,200 attack life points. Horn of the Unicorn. Again, I really don't have many insects, but it's given me a few decent card turns. Interesting. Mist Body. Again, all-around good card, so might work. Big Bang Shot for cards that 
just for trample. Decent 400 point boost. Now for my traps. This is where it's very vague. Um, let's see. Three. Not one, not two, but three. Embodiment of Apophysis. Just for those little... Bam, I got three monsters out on one turn. Screw the rules, I have money. But they also make great tributes for the Dread Rue and any other tribute monster I need to bring out. Let's see. What other none? Offering just to bring out those nasty little cards like, hmm, all my insects in one turn, possibly. You never know. Conscription. A little bit of a chance there, but if you get it right, you may get their best card. That doesn't need to be specifics. Otherwise, they just get a free draw. A little bit of chance. Sakratsu Armor. Magic Jammer. And those are usually almost in every deck now today, so not surprising. A hero emerges. Basically, they attack. You have a monster that you can summon without, regardless of conditions. It can really put a bind on them. But they have to select. You usually use it with one card in hand, so it comes in handy. Trap Hole. Before you all say it, I do not use Bottomless because I use it in another deck. Not this one. This is just fun. So Trap Hole will have to suffice. And last, but certainly not least, Compulsory Evacuation Device. It comes in handy for just about any occasion, except when you're staring at a Cyber Dragon. Then it can be a pain. And uh, that is my Insect deck, so goodbye.